What's up everyone? I'm Elsa, my pronouns are she and her, and today we have a strengthening series. This is the second level of variations, um, so let's get into it. Our first exercise is going to take place on the ground, so please meet me on the ground um, in whatever way is comfortable for you getting down there. And we are going to place a mini band above our knees, right? So putting that mini band right above our knees, like two, three inches above our knees and coming down onto whichever side you would like to start with. This is the clamshell, but this time we are using a mini band with it. Feet still in line with the hips and we are doing 10 of these, just lifting that top leg and lowering. Lifting and lowering. Lifting and lowering. Remembering to breathe. Nice and slow. Once you've done 10 of those, go ahead and hop on over to your other side, adjusting the band as necessary. I know mine always likes to slit. Resting your head down, feet still in line with the hips, lifting that top leg and lowering, being sure to keep that pelvis stable, not rocking back and forth. A little lift. If your band starts to slip down, you can totally take a quick pause, readjust it, right? Once you have done 10 of those, we are going to flip on over onto our back. And we are doing our glute bridges, so feet about hip width apart, knees are bent, keeping that band a couple inches above the knees. Lifting, squeezing at the top, and lowering. Ha. And lower, nice and slow with this one. We're doing 10 of these. It's not about how fast you're doing it, right? It's not a race. Once we have done 10 of those, we are going to get up on our feet and take off the band whenever you can. Either once you're on your feet or on the ground, either way. And then we are coming on up to our feet. And we are going to do a reverse lunge. So for the reverse lunge, we're doing 10 of these per side and alternating legs. Um, so it's a step back into that lunge, drop into the lunge, step up to press forward. Dropping into the lunge, pressing forward, right? And we're doing 10 of these per side, so it's 20 total. Still trying to get to 90 degree bends with our knees. If that is doable for you, if it's not, totally don't worry about it. If you want to make that a goal of yours, then that is totally a goal that you can make, but it doesn't necessarily have to be your goal. 
And remember, you can always adjust the size of your step. Still keeping that chest nice and tall. Ha. And breathing. Once you've done 10 of those per side, 20 total, we are moving into a seated row. So I'm sitting on this ottoman. You can sit on an ottoman, a couch, a bench, a chair, whatever you have access to. This is a resistance band with handles attached, attached to a table. Um, you're gonna want a resistance band attached to something or like the cable machine at the gym. Um, but you're gonna sit up nice and tall, grabbing the attachment with both hands. Right, you could also do this with a super band. And you are going to pull those shoulder blades down out of your ears, pull in, and release. All right, we're doing 10 of these. Looking straight ahead. If the resistance feels too easy, you can move yourself back a little bit if you're using one of the bands like this. You can pause at the top, release. Keeping those elbows tight to your ribs. Feet pressing into the ground. And once you have done 10 of those, right, you can let go of that, move your bench back. We are going to do a half kneeling cable press. I'd recommend pulling your mat in for this um, or folding like a blanket or something to place under your knees. So we're gonna take the band, behind us, facing away from it. You're coming into a kneeling position. Um, your knee is going to be back. That is the side that the band is going to be on, right? And then you are just engaging that core, pressing out, right? Pressing out. We're doing 10 of these per side. Looking straight ahead. Once you hit 10 on one side, go ahead, switch it on over to the other side. Switching your knee positions, trying not to knock things off the wall. I feel like that's always a good goal to have, right? And then exhaling on the top. Once you have hit 10 of those, that is the end of the circuit, right? That's round one of the circuit. Um, you are welcome to grab a sip of water right now, take a little bit of a breather, pause, do what you gotta do. Um, if you only had time to do the circuit 
once, that is awesome. Um, if you have time to keep doing it another time with us, do it another time with us. Yeah, and then we are gonna come down onto the mat for round two. Coming onto the mat in whatever way feels comfortable for you, right? Pulling the band two, three inches above the knees. Starting on whichever side you would like to. Feet in line with the hips. Legs stacked one on top of the other. Lifting that top leg and lowering. It's a very small lift. Try to keep that pelvis as stable as possible, right? Not rocking back and forth. <sighs> 10 of these per side. <sighs> Once you've done 10 on one side, switching it on over to the other side. And then lifting and lowering. You can always adjust that band. I know mine's slipping a lot today. And 10 of these. Remembering to breathe. Allowing yourself to rest your head on your arm or on the mat. And once you have done 10 of those, we are coming onto our backs for the glute bridges, yeah? Feet about hip width apart, knees are bent, and then we exhale and lift, and then lower. Remembering to breathe, ha. And once you have done 10 of those, you are welcome to take off that band and come up onto your feet. And we are going to be doing our reverse lunges. You can totally do them on your mat. I just end up sliding around more than I like to, hence the moving it out of the way. But starting with whichever leg you want. So step back, dropping into that lunge, creating the two 90 degree angles, coming back up. <sighs> Keeping our chest up nice and tall. You don't have to do these fast either. You can take them at whatever pace you would like. And it's 10 per side, 20 total. Remembering to breathe. And once you have done 
10 per side or 20 total. Moving on to our rows, right? Bringing in the bench. Taking your resistance band, right? And then exhale, pull back, and then release. Keeping those elbows tucked to the rib cage. Shoulders aren't hunched up, pulling them down out of your ears. Sitting upright. And it's 10 of these. Again, not rushing through the movement, taking your time with it. And once you've done those, moving the bench, not that hard. Don't move the bench that hard. Move it out of your way though. Not slamming it into everything like I just did. And we are going to do our one armed half kneeling chest press, right? Taking the same resistance band using a mat or something under your knees. Coming down, right? Your back leg is the same one that you're gonna have the resistance band in. Pressing straight out, coming back. Ten of these per side. And then switching on to the other side. Right. Pressing. Remember to breathe. And then letting that go. And then when you're done with that one, you are done, at least with me. Um, you are welcome to repeat the circuit another time if you would like to keep going with it. Um, but yeah, that is it. There is gonna be another level of variations if you would like to try that video as well. If you felt like this was a good match for you, you can do it a couple more times. Totally, totally your call. Um, but uh, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to join me. You know, sometimes it takes a lot to reserve 20 minutes for yourself, sometimes even five minutes for yourself. So really appreciate you sharing your time with me today. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and are able to move your body in a joyful way again very soon. Thank you. I'll see you next time.